Hey, Dan with Home Meets Road with one of our RV campground reviews. This one is all about Birch Bay RV Campground, which is a thousand trails in Washington. Before we get started, here are the timestamps for this video. Let's get started with the park's location. Birch Bay RV Campground is located in Blaine, Washington, which is about 27 minutes north of Bellingham or about 11 minutes south of the Canadian border. Now, when you arrive, the GPS wants to take you to the south entrance, which is actually an exit. So not sure if they just changed this or if that's just a flaw in the GPS, but make sure you go to the northern part of the park. Once you get to the right entrance, it is pretty simple. Just get into the right lane, which is the registration lane, park and go to the office. When it comes to the park map, they did a really good job and there are two sections to this park. A north section, which was the only section open while we were here, which was October of 2020, by the way, and a south section, which seems to be the section that is done really well, but unfortunately was closed while we were here. There's a lot to be said about this park's layout, some good and some bad, but I'm going to leave that for when we talk about issues. There are several amenities right by the office, but most were closed due to COVID. So I'm just going to focus on the RV amenities. As far as I understand, every site has its own sewer hookups, but there is a dump station in the center between the entrance and exit. Now this seems really convenient for anyone coming in just to dump, but depending on the size of their rig, this might cause a backup, pun intended, for anyone staying at the park. This park does offer a propane fill station. However, it is located to the right of the registration lane before the entrance. So unless you have tanks that are removable, your best bet is to get your tanks filled before you enter the park during registration. Ice, firewood, and a really nice laundry room can be found just outside the front office. Now we ended up in site 12 in the north section since the south section was closed for the season. It was an okay site, too short to fit the truck and the trailer back to back and we had to get pretty close to the fifth wheel behind us. It also kind of puddled up, almost flooded on a rainy day. And we did have to use Anderson's in order to get our trailer level. Trailer hookups. Oh boy. Um, yeah, our hookups. Okay, honestly, this needs to go into the issues section. So I'm just going to touch on this quickly. If you are lucky and you can get into the south section, which was closed while we were here, it seems like every site has their own connections or at least it is just in between two sites and everything seems to be perfect. However, in the north section, there is one gigantic center mess, which is split into four sites. Uh, yeah, it, it's a mess. 
Okay, I know I keep talking about issues, but let's talk about connectivity first. We have Verizon and AT&T. Both worked pretty well. AT&T was clearly the winner here. Not sure if our equipment played a major part in this. Issues. Okay. Long story short, if you are coming to this park and you can be in the south section, I think that's the way to go, which can't be said for the north site. Now, the way I was explained it was that <laughs> evens are good, odds are bad. And what they mean with that is that if you end up in an even spot, your connections end up on your driver's side which is the correct side and on your passenger side where your rv door is you will end up having your designated site meaning your little patch of grass and your table but if you end up in a odd spot your sewer connection, your electric connection, all your connections will end up on your passenger side, meaning where your RV door is. And your patch of grass and your table is actually on the driver's side. Yeah, you heard that right. It actually means that you are going to be stepping out of your RV to where your connections are walk around your RV in order to get to your patch of grass and your table. That's why evens are good, odds are bad. Now, if you found this video helpful, consider giving it a thumbs up so it will be recommended to others. And let's answer that all important question, would we stay here again? And the answer to that is it really depends. From a thousand trails perspective, this RV park comes in handy. If you are looking to go to the Peace Arch, hang out at the border, or even go and explore a little bit of Canada once you are allowed to do so again. But if I wouldn't be able to get into the south section or end up in an even spot, I don't think I would stay here. If you have any questions about this video or this campground, leave a comment below and I will do my best to answer it. And if you haven't subscribed already, we are a family of three living full time in our rebuilt vintage travel trailer. We share the good, the bad and the ugly of building your own RV and living the nomadic life. Consider subscribing, thanks for watching, and happy travels.